again, it's me. Um, we are in the classroom today. Um, today we are going to be reading Officer Buckle and Gloria. Um, this is a story that actually is in our classroom library, so when you come back you can go ahead and check that out. Um, this is probably a story that a lot of you have read before, but today we are going to be focusing on the illustrations. Remember, illustrations are the pictures of the story, and those help to give us clues to um, more about the story, to tell us about the story. So as we're reading, make sure you pay special attention to the illustrations, the pictures, um, and we are going to be doing our graphic organizer today. So if you haven't already, make sure you pull this out. We are going to be filling this out together. In one column, it has illustrations. We're gonna describe the pictures. And then here, we are going to put in this column what I learned from the pictures. So we'll be flipping back and forth. We will be filling this out together. And let's get started with our story. Also, this is a fiction story, which means that is it real or fake? It is a made-up story, right? It is fiction fake, a made-up story um, with made-up characters and events. Officer Buckle and Gloria. Written and illustrated by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77. Never stand on a swivel chair. Look at the illustrations. Why not? Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle. But Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Napville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Notice the illustration here. And notice the illustration here. What is Gloria doing differently in both of these pictures? Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Now, look at the illustrations. How does Gloria make Officer's Buckle, Officer Buckle's speeches more interesting, more entertaining? What is she doing here that is making the children laugh? All right, let's go over to our paper and let's start filling this out. So think about the illustrations so far. What is it that you see or are learning from the illustrations? What are they showing? We can put, it shows, 
<coughs> Gloria. Remember, capitalize the G, it's a proper noun. Being funny. Um, while Officer Buckle is talking to students. Wow, Officer Buckle. That's what the illustrations show. I'll zoom that in for you. If you need more time, you can pause. Now let's look at this side really quick. What did we learn from the picture? Oops, let me adjust my camera. All right, what are we learning from our picture? Do you think Officer Buckle knows what's going on behind um, his back? What's Gloria doing? It shows that Officer Buckle does not know what Gloria is doing. It shows that Officer Buckle does not know that Gloria is doing tricks. I'll give you just a minute to go ahead and fill that out. Okay, if you need to, go ahead and pause your video. Let's get back to our story. Let me adjust this. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. Remember, look at the illustrations. He thinks they're laughing with him, but who are they really laughing at? The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. Why do you think they show a lot of imagination? Look at the pictures. What is Gloria doing in these? Remember, he doesn't realize what she's doing behind his back. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phones started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along that police dog.
Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo! Bravo! they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Look at the illustration. Does Officer Buckle look surprised? And why do you think he's surprised? He's watching what happened earlier today on the TV. What do you think he's seeing now? All right, let's take a look back at our paper here. And we are going to do the illustrations. What does the illustration show? It shows Officer Buckle watching what Gloria had been doing. So it shows Officer Buckle um, watching what Gloria had been doing. Watching what Gloria had been doing. And he looks pretty surprised, right? All right, I'm going to zoom that in for you again. Just this slightly. All right, again, remember, pause if you need to. Okay, now let's go over to what we can learn from the picture, from the illustration, all right? What can we learn from this picture, from this illustration? It shows Officer Buckle watching what Gloria's been doing. Now, Officer Buckle discovers what Gloria has been doing all along. Officer Buckle discovers Now those pictures, though, all those letters that he's been uh, receiving from students now kind of make a little more sense, don't you think? He's now noticing what she's been doing all along behind his back. And do you think, think about, um, do you think he's happy about what she's been doing? Do you think he's going to be upset? Do you think he's going to think it's funny? Hmm, let's see. All right, I'm going to zoom this back out. Remember, pause if you need to, and we're going to read the rest of our story. Let's see how he feels. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Mm, all right. So is he happy or sad about this? Look at his face. He looks kind of angry or sad. Let's write that down. Let's show what that illustration says. 
Officer Buckle looks sad and has written a new safety tip. All right, now let's go what we can learn from that illustration. So he's sad, huh? Officer Buckle is upset with Gloria. He does not want to work with her anymore. So, Officer Buckle. to work with her anymore. Hmm, do you think that's the end of that friendship? All right, let's zoom out. Let's find out what happens next. Let's read the rest of our story. let's go back to the safety tip right here it says safety tip number 100 never turn your back on a strange dog that's his new safety tip that we just wrote about mm. all right someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school Gloria sat on stage looking lonely then she fell asleep so did the audience. After Gloria left, Napville School had its biggest accident ever. Mm. Does it look like any, they're listening anymore to the safety tips? They all look asleep based upon the illustrations. And does Gloria look like she's happy? It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat! Splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. Oh no, why do you think this happened? Is it because they're not listening to the safety rules anymore? Think about cause and effect, we've talked about that before. Since they're not listening to the safety tips anymore, Look at what happened. Looks like a whole lot of chaos. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Mm -hmm. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then, Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101, always stick with your buddy. All right, that is the end of our story. So let's take one last look at all of our writing. 
So based upon the illustrations in this story, the illustrations are pretty clever, pretty detailed, and give us a lot of information about this story. So the first one, the pictures show that Gloria being funny while Officer Buckle is talking to students. What we can learn from this is it shows that Officer Buckle has no clue what's going on behind his back, huh? He has no idea that she's doing tricks. The next illustration or group of illustrations show Officer Bu Buckle watching what Gloria had been doing. Remember, he's watching a recording on the TV and he finally sees what she's been doing all along. He's discovering what she's been doing all along behind his back. And was he happy about that? Not at all. Officer Buckle is sad, maybe a little angry too, and has written a new safety tip. Remember that safety tip? was don't turn your back on a strange dog. And what we learned from the picture, Officer Buckle is upset with Gloria. He does not want to work with her anymore. But in the end, what happens? He realizes they're a pretty good team. They work together well. Um, Gloria provides the entertainment, makes it exciting and interesting for the students. And Officer Buckle has some very good, important information to help them keep safe. All right. That is all for that story. That's all for our assignment today. I hope you guys are doing well. I love you and miss you. And please know I'm praying for you every day. And I will see you again next time. All right, bye.